Hi guys, so today I'll be sharing with you all about tripods and I'm just going to do this by sharing with you all the tripods that I own. Uh, a tripod is probably your most important thing in a, in a camera person's uh, arsenal. Many people will say that your camera is only as good as your tripod and that's very true because the better your camera, likely the heavier it will be and you need a stable tripod to make sure that you are able to handle the camera's weight and also perform the most basic uh, camera movements there are right so i'm just going to run through the couple of tripods that i have here so first and foremost right i am not a photographer so i'm not a professional photographer in the sense that i don't take photos for a living but i do take photos on and off so video making is actually my my what, what i do for a living so on my right right there's going to be uh, a few photo stuff and then later we'll go to the big one here which is the video tripod so i'm just going to put this slightly aside i'm shooting this fairly wide so that y'all can see how the tripod looks like from top to toe right um and i'm about 171 so you can kind of gauge how high these tripods are so this is what i think most people will know as a gorilla pod the first people to make this i think was joby the brand joby and then they created this gorilla pod with the iconic round little circles that, that are stuck together and then you can bend them in any shape or, or, or fashion that you want this one is slightly different this one I, I believe there's a, a rigid flexible piece of metal inside and then you can bend it and then you keep it that shape and then they basically coat it with this rubberized texture outside and you can cling this to any pole like surface or anything that you can wrap around and this will uh, we stand away, maybe it's good for GoPro, it's good for phone, right? You can actually get one of these um, phone clips, right? Screw it on, you can put it on a tree and you can do a selfie. Very useful for holidays and very light. I got this free by the way, so some of you watching might know that when Tamron first released their 1728 and the 2875 lenses, they actually bundled this little freebie with any purchase so that was pretty nice i didn't expect the freebies to be so useful but hey man it's free and it's good good stuff all right so i'm just gonna put this aside first and the next thing i'm gonna show you guys right is this uh little photo tripod so as you can see it's very slim very slender very lightweight i think it's like 500 grams maybe less yeah i think it's maybe less I bought this mainly because uh, I wanted to take photos with my wife uh, when we went overseas and we didn't want to bother people to take photos with us because I'm quite particular, I don't want people to be taking my photos for me so I pre prefer to set it up on a tripod and then uh, put it on a timer or something uh, so that we can take our photos ourselves but it also helps because some, some of the places that you go right, it might be quite deserted but the scenery is nice so you might not have someone to take photos for you so this will come in very handy now this tripod is the, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it's called the Brilliant Tripod and it's brilliant, it's a brilliant, brilliant tripod so <laughs> the brand is called Brilliant, um, this is the TW275, I believe they make a bigger one uh, that is slightly uh, heavier and it can hold maybe a slightly heavier payload but this is perfectly fine for like a Sony Alpha camera or any other compact camera that I have even for a DSLR it works perfectly fine um, it's, it looks very flimsy at the start and honestly it does feel very flimsy you have a little bit of metal everywhere but it's not the kind of an uh, expensive heavy metal that you find it's the kind of lightweight cheap metal I'm just going to show you in the reverse right so this is how it looks like fully set up and I'm going to show you how it looks like when it's folded down so how you're going to extend these legs all you need to do is twist and pull and then you turn it the other way to lock all the intersections so if you can hear it every twist you make pulls one section out and the next twist you make pulls the other section out right so deploying this tripod is is a breeze you'll be surprised right that like something like that that seems so flimsy i actually use this in scotland where the winds kind of crazy i used it near the mountains so we were in sky the eye of sky and uh, places like that and all the, the wind, winds there are very strong but you'll be surprised how well this thing holds up great stuff uh, and in fact it has a sort of like this extendable center column and you guys saw how high it went up to right you can even adjust there, there's uh, adjustable legs adjustable angles that each leg can be at 
but if you go all the way up, you'll fold it down to a very, very compact size. Look at that. That's all. This is probably one of the greatest purchases I bought. 40 Singapore dollars. I'm gonna show you, right? If you remember my backpack review two videos back, right? This fits in very nicely with the boundary supply pack. Uh, as you can see, the side pocket here. I'm gonna shove this in here. Okay. There, look at that. Ready to go. And so I think this is a very good uh, setup for overseas travels. The tripod deploys so quickly. I bought this for 40 Singapore dollars. It's, come on, this has served me very well. Runs on the Arca Swiss type plate. This is mostly a more of a photographer's kind of plate. Okay, so this is this. On to this slightly bigger one. So this is very similar to the previous one that I showed you. It's just a lot bigger. By the way, free gift also. Uh, this was the other tripod that was bundled with the Tamron lens that I bought. There are two types of main locking, leg locking mechanisms. There's the previous one that I showed you, that's the newer but less rigid, more for lighter setups. Two main uh, locking mechanisms for tripods is always the flip locks and what we have here in the twist and turn. Screw locks, I would say, I don't know how you pronounce <laughs> How you say that but essentially you turn that's the unlock and then you just pull now in the past right um, i've never used tripods like that i've always used flip locks because i thought they would go faster but um, what this company has done right pro gear from photo pro so what they have done and i believe they are not the only ones um, is that they have fairly quick locking mechanisms they are touting uh, quarter turn so if you just turn it a little bit it loosens okay and then you just need to twist them by another quarter turn and they will lock in place the leg even comes off and you can mount this to the center column and it will become a monopod i have not actually used this i have not brought it out uh, for a photo trip or anything i might do it on my next holiday but i still prefer that one because it's so light this is slightly heavier when folded down, right, it's only 43 cm, only one and a half kilograms. Pretty good, one and a half kilograms. This center column is also able to go up and down. So this gives you an additional height. Standard ball head, this is a ball head. Uh, again, Aka Swiss type plate. And then you have your knobs to loosen the ball head and all that. Again, able to go all the way, you are able to lock the legs at different angles and it goes up and this is how small it folds down to 43 centimeters guys very nice and you can fit into the back as well uh, it might be a little bit lopsided because this is might, might be a bit heavier it'll tilt the back to the side but other than that still very small still very travel and uh, friendly still very compact and i think i might consider getting one of these um, at least in a place where there's strong winds, right, you feel a little bit comforted that your camera won't just topple. Okay, oops. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. And next, finally, right, I want to go into the big daddy I have here. This is my tripod that I bring out to work. This is the tripod that I actually got with my own money. Uh, no one is giving away these as free gifts. Okay, now, um, this is the Terris TSN6 and then they have the name for the legs and all that. I can never ever remember. This, again, I believe is Chinese made. Uh, the Chinese have been uh, putting out some pretty good stuff at pretty decent prices. Your typical tripods, renowned tripods are brands like your Sasha, your Vintons, your Millers, those goes up, goes into thousands and tens of thousands, right? So this is nothing like those, but again, it, for the price that you pay, you are getting a lot of value in my opinion. I bought this for about $700 to $800. I bought this on Taobao. I got it during, I believe, the singles day last year, 11th of November. 
uh, 7 to 800 bucks after discount and inclusive of shipping and GST. If you were to buy this from Singapore, there are a few distributors. I think Cathay Photo is one of them, but they will probably charge you a little bit more. If you buy from them, you're probably going to get more after sales support. Like you probably won't be able to get any after sales support if you buy from Taobao. So if this goes, this gets damaged uh, by any chance, I'm stuck in the rut. Alright, so okay, back to this. Um, this is what we call a video tripod. I'll show you a few key distinct uh, differences between this and the photo tripod that we just mentioned. So firstly, um, what's very good about this tripod is that uh, one locking lever for two stages. So this goes, so typically you have uh, one locking mechanism for each stage, right? For this one, there is only one lever. So that's very good for all the camera assistants out there. They, um, they probably like something like that where you only need to release one lever to unlock all stages of the tripod so you don't and also you don't have to bend so if you realize i don't know if you guys can see that even at this lowest point right instead of the lever being here at the bottom like some of the tripods so a lot of the lever, the first stage lever, uh, locking lever right will always be at the bottom and that means you have to bend down I can tell you doing that for the whole day can be quite a pain. What this is able to let us do right, is that it's able to keep it, keep the locking lever right at a comfortable position and you can in one swift motion unlock all the way to the highest and then it sits right here which is just where your hand is and it's just so easy right. So that's one very good and this is a premium feature I believe like not every tripod has this if you're going to buy a normal tripod leg kind of thing you will have that bottom locking lever and then a separate locking lever for the top so this was one of the main reasons why I bought this um, one other thing to note about professional video tripods is that they might not always sell the video head with the with the legs so you can actually buy it because these things are detachable so you can actually buy a different tripod leg for a different tripod head these are how it comes so when you buy on Taobao especially always be careful because sometimes the price might be so cheap because they are only selling the legs or they might only be selling the head you have to make sure that they are selling the thing as a set right so and you can't blame them because it's a legit thing people might buy it like that because they might have an old head sitting around or they just need a new pair of legs or they might just need a new um, video head right some of the other features that you have here is it has this sliding plate only slightly better tripods have this so you have this sliding plate at the top so what this does is that it's able to let you balance your camera a little better okay as opposed to moving the actual base plate right so this allows you to balance if your lens is heavy you can push this slightly further back and it will and you'll give you a better experience using a tripod so there are two main types of video heads right there are there are the fluid heads and the video heads the geared heads right? the fluid head and the geared heads for video tripods the movement of the head what goes inside this head is very important right so if you have a lousy tripod head you're not going to be able to get proper movements i've used terrible video heads before uh, and those tend to be fluid heads um, they are just not as good. So fluid heads basically there is um, it regulates the 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 uh, the movement of the head via maybe a combination of some uh, hydraulics in there. Some but mainly it's fluid driven. So um, what that means is that over time, I all, this is my opinion. Over time, the fluid in there, I don't know, man. It gets gets it hardens or and temperature might might be an issue. But essentially, the video heads, the fluid heads tend to de uh, degrade over time. That's what I feel. And 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 tripods that use video uh, fluid heads are I just I really dislike. Right. So geared video geared heads are a lot better in the sense that they 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 are they, I think inside there are more mechanical gears that uh, help to uh, regulate the drag. Right. So you can hear that there are. For this tripod, there are there are four steps of drag. So for the first 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 step, it's actually pretty loose. I would say this is a zero, but okay. So once you go to two, you can hear the physical click, and when you move it, you can you can feel that the gear locks in place, and you are now the drag is slightly increased. 
and then if you go further up so you can see that when I'm in between right it actually loses, it actually doesn't catch so you're actually changing gears like on the bike right and when I'm on 4 you can really feel the drag and there's also 4 steps of counterbalance which uh, can be another video in tone but again this is a very this is a very good tripod for its price 7800 Singapore dollars to get all these features that are typically only found in slightly better heads that cost 2 3 grand I think it's very good uh, and, and, I, and I think uh, the Chinese are really threatening this market right now mainly European brands have been dominating this part of the, the market most video people will probably be on the Manfotos 502s I really I'm not a fan of the 502 because again it's a fluid head uh, it's I believe it it is not worth the money that you pay for um, but a lot of people use those base plates and the base plate is ubiquitous you can find anywhere right you can find a base plate anywhere um, unfortunately this tripod does not use that you have to use a proper tripod base plate that comes with the tripod okay and yeah um, of course this tripod weighs a lot more the typically although the legs are carbon fiber um, the head is normally the one that weighs quite a bit so some people might actually even prefer aluminum tripod legs because they feel that um, if the legs are too light it might actually feel a bit lopsided because now the head is so heavy um, if I push this, it might fall. So some people actually prefer that the legs are made of aluminium, but this is made of carbon fiber, just makes the whole package a bit lighter. Right, um, again, you have a floor spreader which lets you go lower. Um, yeah, this is overall a very, very good tripod. I mean, people who are in the lab, well, you guys know that it, tripods can get very expensive, and this is just one of those things that um, it's a gift that you can get quality at a discount always invest in a good tripod because um, in a, good, a good tripod will be able to last you for a very long time even if you are switching cameras non-stop right? different tripods obviously have different payload limits but um, you probably know what you're doing the best so just get a tripod that suits your needs and a good tripod will help you actually become a better filmmaker in the sense that it, it eases your time on set so if you like the content that I've been putting out, uh, be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you.